it's Around Town with Mandy. Tax season is here, and that can only mean one thing. Tax time. Accountant office right in Centerville on Lawyers Row. Richard Graves, certified public accountant. Make sure you check out their new location on Ken Island, 721 Main Street. Located directly across from Ram's Head. Let's go in and see what they have to offer. So I'm here with Rich Graves, CPA. Rich, how are you today? Oh, I'm wonderful. How are you this fine day? Great. Tax season is upon us. It, tax season is here. Yes. Oh, yes, it is. Let's go April 15th. Yes. For you guys, tax season is all year long. Absolutely. We're, we are here all year long. I like to say that on, after April 15th, I get to go home at 5 because there's work to be done. You know, we're helping people all year long. Uh, accounting work, tax work, you know, extensions, uh, all sorts of stuff. Nonprofits. We work for a lot of nonprofit organizations. So their due dates aren't May 15th and then November 15th. So we've got stuff that we're doing all year long. So now I'm here with Greg. Greg, what exactly is your title? I'm the Maryland Registered Tax Preparer and I'm tax manager here at Richard Graves. So that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> doesn't fit on a business card. No, well. no, that's a long no. name. Say, let's start out if I had, um, it's very simple, mm -hmm. owned one home, mm -hmm. had one car, worked a job. Okay. What would be my reasoning to come to an accountant? Congress changes tax laws all the time. TurboTax, they ask you questions, but they don't know the questions you may have. Right. So we can answer questions. Just because you're working one job now doesn't mean that you don't have something that you're thinking about doing in the future, um, you know, something that, that you may want to start your own business or branch out or something like that. And, and we can help you in that. Okay. And then from to go from there, so what if I had maybe two cars and a home daycare or something like that? An yeah. advantage to come to an accountant. Yeah, so a home daycare, I mean, there's a lot of things there. You've got office use of the home, business use of the home. You've got, uh, you know, you can allocate things. There's per diem on meals. A lot of daycare providers think that, you know, with the groceries and things that they buy, they have to keep track of all this stuff. But the IRS does allow a per diem. And I've found that that can actually be higher than what you spend. Say I was a business owner and I had a landscape company. I had 10 employees. Mm -hmm. You also offer services to help me through the whole year. Oh, yeah. We provide uh, payroll services. We, we do all the quarterly payrolls, W-2s at the end of the year. We can figure out where you're going to be and set up with estimated payments. So in April, you're not super surprised as to yeah. what you owe because that's that's the main thing that gets self-employed people um, is what they owe and then we could try to see if we can defer some of the tax by you know making contributions to retirement accounts and things like that that helps you in the future that's what we really do is we look at where you want to go in and life in the future, and then yeah. see and then see if there's ways with a tax advantage that we can try to help you get there so say if i was new to the area or was moving to the area and i was looking for an accountant found your name looked you up came in what is some something that someone would come to you for their taxes? Well, like say somebody who's just moved into the area. Maybe they've moved from another state, so they've got multiple years of, they have multiple returns to file, multiple states. So it's a lot more complicated. Plus they've got a house sale to report. Uh, and, and I have seen that if you don't report your house sale properly, you can get some eye-opening notices from the IRS, $250,000 wow. of tax and penalties. Yeah, if that doesn't give you the willies, I don't know what else will. But um, so that's one of those things. If somebody's just moved into the area, now if they move from somewhere else in Maryland, you still have house sales and things like that. And, you know, we can help them with the things that they need. You know, it's just not just taxes sometimes. A lot of times I like to say we do tax returns around here, but... We don't just do tax returns. We're trying to help people with where they want to go in the rest of their life. If, if you're a retiree or something like that, yeah, you've just retired. You've, you've, you've moved over here to the Eastern Shore or to, to Queen Anne's County. And you're like, well, you know, I've thought this through a lot, but, you know, there's some issues and there's some things to be thinking about. So we try to help people with that. OK, and, and have discussions. It's just not, you know, this is your tax return. Thank you very much. Right. It's like, well, what's the rest of your uh, financial situation and things like that going on and give you a perspective or some thoughts that so that you can start making some decisions about what's going on in your personal financial life. And again, tell us where you guys are located. All right. So we're at 103 Lawyers Row, Suite 101, right next to Town Hall. We have an office in Easton on Teal Drive, and then we also have 721 Main Street in Stevensville. Which is the new location. It's the new location. Yeah, we're there two days a week, Mondays and Wednesdays. Nice. And then how can someone get a hold of you guys? 410-758-8785. Also, I have a, a website, richgravescpa.com. 
and you can reach out that way or my email address is richcpaman at yahoo.com because uh, I'm rich and I'm a man and I'm a CPA. So I try to keep it simple. Or we're on Facebook. Nice. So if you're looking for an accountant or someone just to help you get started and figure out where you need to be or where you want to go in life. Yep. We're always here. We're, we're, we're here all year, we like to say. So, uh, you know, after tax season, we don't we take a vacation, but we're not gone all year. Well, thank you so much for having us today and for the tips. And if any, anyone is interested in, in finding one, hopefully they'll check you out. I hope so, too. I've been been helping people in Queen Anne's County for over 25 years. Well, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you.